welcome to the Daily Karnataka Election Show. The countdown for the May 10th Assembly elections in Karnataka has begun with uh, just five days to go for that big voting day. In the middle of the high voltage campaign by all political parties, politics over Bajrang Dal has taken centre stage. Now here's an overview of all that went down in the last 24 hours in pole bound Karnataka. DK Shivakumar promises to build Hanuman temples across the state if voted back. Veteran Congress leader Virappa Moili rejects the party's promise to ban Bajrangdal. Bommai accuses Congress of taking decisions under pressure of the SDPI. Union Minister Prahala Joshi confident of the BJP getting absolute majority in Karnataka. VHP Bajrangdal workers protest against Congress recite Hanuman Chalisa. Change in Prime Minister Narendra Modi's massive roadshow plan in Bengaluru. Priyanka Gandhi visits ancient Kanakagiri temple during the campaign trail. Election Commission's notice to Priyanka Karge, Pasangada Patil Yatnal over abuse politics. And look how the story is turned. The Congress party which promised to ban the Bajrangdal and equate the Bajrangdal with the PFI is today saying that they will build Hanuman temples across Karnataka. Prajwal with this report. Congress is in damage control mode across the entire state of Karnataka after the huge fiasco with their manifesto where they stated that, that uh, they would ideally remove the Bajrangdal, ban them and also equating them with the PFI where now the pro-Hindu activists have been on an overdrive and have also put some sort of pressure. It is not only caught up in Dakshina Kannada but also in the Malnad region, the Kittur Karnataka region and also the Kalyana Karnataka region too. And therefore today the KPCC president DK Shivkumar has now gone to a hill shrine of Chamundeshwari. Later, he's been to the Lord Anjaneya's temple as well, Lord Hanuman's temple, offered prayers and has stated that they will be building Hanuman temples across the entire state of Karnataka and they will also be speaking about Lord Hanuman and educating the youth about them as well. And this sara, a sudden U-turn has happened because of the fact that Union Minister Shobha Karanlaje had lashed out against the Congress, uh, specifically Randeep Singh Surjewala because he had challenged whether the BJP knew the Hanuman Chalisa. Now, shifting back to this particular controversy, DK Shukumar has also stated that they would go ahead and sanction funds for the development of the Anjanadri Hill and they will also build a shrine around it because that is the origin of Lord Hanuman. So, essentially now, the Congress is trying to make sure that it has already ruffled a few feathers but they will all bring it under control. But will that be the case or not? That is something which only the 13th of May will go ahead and answer for the Congress. Thank you for that, Prajwal. And uh, the mention of the PFI, which is already banned, by the way, uh, the Chief Minister says the Congress party is trying to appease a certain section, referring to the minority community, saying that Congress is doing appeasement politics while coming under pressure from groups like the SDPI. Bommai spoke to Republic TV, Harsha, with that big report. In the midst of politics over Bajrang Dal, Karnataka Chief Minister Basavraj Bomai also lambasted the opposition party for taking this decision under the pressure of SDPI and PFI. He added, there is tremendous pressure on the Congress party from the outfits SDPI and PFI as they have threatened the Congress party to withdraw their support. Therefore, to appease the anti-national forces, Congress party has promised to put a ban on Bajrangdal. To appease uh, SDPI, PFI, anti-national forces, Congress has indulged in this. There is no powers to the state. Bajrangdal is in all over the country. And Bajrangdal has been working for the welfare of the society and raising certain issues. But comparing that to PFI, where it has been banned on the strong grounds of anti-national activities, including uh, terrorist activity. It is totally <coughs> unfair, uncalled for, and uh, it has got an evil design, evil political design, and Congress has to pay a heavy price for this. Thank you for that, Harsha. In fact, uh, even the Congress party is divided. Yesterday, you had a top leader very close to the Vadra Gandhi family speaking out saying that it's wrong, you cannot equate them to the PFI, they're not a terrorist group, you can't ban them. Today, a very senior Congress leader has been a union minister, a law minister in the past. Veerappa Moili says, 
it's not even a proposal. It can't be a proposal. It can't happen. He says you just can't ban the Bajrang Dal. Priyanka is in Karnataka, brings us this report. The former Karnataka Chief Minister and a veteran Congress leader, Veera Pamoyli, in fact, has rejected the Congress Party's manifesto and has stated that there cannot be any ban technically that can be imposed by the state if they do come to power. Absolutely no error. It is a well-considered, well-thought-out measure. They have done it. It is, this is done in the background of the Constitution of India. It is again done in the background of the recent Supreme Court decision where they said Suomoto case will have to be registered against all those people who disturb law and order. Crime. This is it. So another point which you have been mentioned here, that uh, communal polarization, BJP thinks this is their monopoly. They feel disturbed, you know, when their monopoly is you know, being attacked. We want communal peace. This is a district, coastal area. You know, there are several, you know, the Muslims are there, Christians are there, Marathis are there, you know, Malayalis are there. Everybody, every, you know, ethnic group is here. They live together peacefully centuries and centuries. Thank you for that report, Priyanka. In fact, uh, it's also becoming too predictable because every election, there's one scene that you will see, the Congress party going temple hopping. Congress leaders going temple hopping. And uh, this next report is from Aneri, who tells us about how Priyanka Vadra was seen going from one temple to the other at a time when Bajrang Bali and their mistake with Bajrang Dal is the headline. Amid the Bajrang Dal controversy which has been going on here in the state of Karnataka, well now we see that the Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Vadra visited an ancient Kanakagiri temple which was built by Sri Krishna Devaraya of the Vijayanagar Emperor. Well now after the visit to the temple, Priyanka Gandhi Vadra continued her campaigning and also while addressing the crowd there, she slammed the BJP over 40% Sarkara in the state of Karnataka as Karnataka elections is at its last stage of the campaigning and on 10th of May as Karnataka goes to polls. Thank you for that, Aneri. In fact, uh, there's another report that Aneri now gets us about the Prime Minister's big road show on the weekend in Bengaluru. It was supposed to be a one-day show, but they now broken it up into day one and day two, Saturday and Sunday. So it's a road show divided into two parts and Aneri tells us more about how the BJP plans to go about it. As all political parties are going all out over the Karnataka elections in the last phase of the campaigning, well now we will be seeing Prime Minister Narendra Modi holding a mega road show, a 37 kilometer long road show which was first planned to be held on the 6th of May. Well now it has been decided that it will be taken up in two different days, on May 6th and on May 7th. Well now we see that the first um, road show which will begin from New Tipsandra on the 6th of May will continue and on the 7th of May also Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be holding a mega road show from Brigade Millennium area and will continue well. This will be a big boost to the Bharatiya Janta Party and also at the same time a strong message which will be given out by Prime Minister by holding this mega road show in Bengaluru. Thank you for that Aneri. In fact, uh, some experts say that something is changing on the ground in the last few days. And uh, Union Minister Prahlad Joshi, who's from Karnataka, uh, believes that his party will cross the majority mark this time. Harsha gets us this exclusive. Union Minister Prahlad Joshi, while speaking exclusively to Republic, exuded confidence in BJP's win in Karnataka polls. He stated that BJP on May 10th poll will cross the magic number and will return to power. He stated that the party will get 130 to 135 seats out of 224 and will make the government. He also stated that after Pradhan Mantri Narain Modi's campaign in the state, the entire scenario in the state has completely changed. I can say for the first time we have we have full confidence that there will be a we will cross the magic number and more than something more than magic number and according to my estimate at least 130 135 seats Bharti Janata Party will win thank you Arsha for that in fact Across Karnataka, if there's one scene that you will see outside temples, outside Hanuman temples especially, Bajrangdal, VHP, Hindu groups, activists, even the BJP leadership, 
they're reciting uh, the Hanuman Chalisa, and it's uh, it's becoming viral, especially after the Bajrangdal pitch, the ban to Bajrangdal pitch uh, by the Congress Party. Prajwal gets us uh, this report on how it's backfiring for the Congress. Bajrangdal and Vishwa Hindu Parishad cadres across the entire state of Karnataka have now launched a massive protest against the Congress party and its manifesto, calling it controversial and unwanted for. And in this regard, they have come out with a unique protest. They have also prayed to the Gomata, where they have gone ahead and performed prayers to a cattle, after which they started chanting the Hanuman Chalisa across all the 224 assembly constituencies in the state of Karnataka, which essentially means uh, that now the Congress is definitely on a back foot as uh, the Bajrangdal workers are protesting, calling them communal Congress, calling them anti-Hindu at this point of time. Initially, it was expected that the Congress would face severe backlash only in Dakshina Kannada. But slowly now, these protests are happening across the entire state of Karnataka, mainly in Malnad region, in Kalyana Karnataka. Kittur Karnataka, Belagavi region and Kalyana Karnataka too and this is something which is now ringing across everywhere. To add more support to the Bajrangdal, the BJP party has now gone ahead and supported them and the BJP party led by Union Minister Shobha Karandlaje is also chanting Hanuman Chalisa across 118 assembly constituencies, not limited to Bengaluru but also across the entire state covering all the six regions too and this is something which is now being seen as crucial ahead of the assembly elections. Thank you, Prajwal, for that. In fact, uh, there's another report that Prajwal gets us about how the Election Commission has had to step in and give, give notices to the leaders who are uh, abusing other leaders. For example, in the BJP, there's a leader called Yatnal and uh, in the Congress party, Priyank Karge, who called the Prime Minister Nalayak Beta. Both of them have been issued notices and in fact, uh, uh, several sections also being invoked against Priyank Karge. Prajwal is getting us this report. The EC has acted on the hate politics which is taking place in the state of Karnataka starting with uh, Mallikarjun Karge's son Priyank Karge going ahead and calling the Prime Minister a Nalayak Beta where a case was registered against him under IPC sections 500 and 504 which is defamation and intention with an intention to go ahead and defame a person who is in public life as well and uh, they have also served a show cause notice to him asking that uh, he should be replying to them uh, otherwise action will be taken and he will be prevented from campaigning in the upcoming elections even Basan Gauda Patil Yatnal the controversial BJP MLA has also been uh, served with a show cause notice uh, for calling Sonia Gandhi uh, Vishakanye and uh, this particular case was registered by the Congress legal cell with the election commission as well as with the high grounds police station too and finally now the election commission has also again released a new list of rules and state that uh, the hate politics has already taken center stage and it should not be done so and whichever candidate or whichever uh, star campaigner is indulging in hate politics will be barred from campaigning in the state of Karnataka for their respective parties. So far there have been no sort of responses which has been given by Basan Gauda Patil Yatnal or Priyank Karge to the election commission but shortly they will be writing in a written statement to them clarifying as to what exactly they meant when they had issued these controversial statements. And the biggest uh, election roundup on digital republic keeping you ahead. India's election news headquarters uh, getting you the breaking news updates every single day, uh, both on digital social media and live TV on broadcast. Until we meet again tomorrow, Namaskara and thanks for watching.